This is behind the counter at a local Japanese fried food sozai shop. Good morning everyone, I've got a fun one for you today. I'm taking you behind the counter at a Japanese sozai shop. I actually introduced this place several years ago, but I'm back here now to go behind the kitchen to show you how it's all made. I'm a little early this morning, but Yamamoto-san should be here shortly. So here we go. Maybe not behind the kitchen, but rather inside of it. At this Japanese deli-like fried food heaven, Sozai Shop, Aisaika. Nestled in Tokyo's local Jujo Ginza shopping street, five minutes from Jujo Station. Japanese Sozai Shops are known for their freshly made side dishes that families buy to add to their dinner table. And this shop is no exception, serving families delicious fried food and other dishes for the last 14 years. Good morning. That's the owner's brother. Are you usually the first one to come in? So the first thing he does is turn on the fryer, which is undoubtedly going to have a beast of a day. How long have you been working here? Do you live nearby? Dope! While he waits for the oil to heat up, he prepares the storefront. And typical of Japanese sozai shops, you can see by all of the colorful signs, there's a lot of food to be made this morning before the shop opens. Isn't it cold? So which do you prefer, winter or summer? <laughs> At least you're honest. Oh, that's the owner, Yamamoto-san. Good morning. Are you tired? Right after he arrives, he quickly starts in the kitchen for the food prep. The store opens at 11 and they need to make 35 to 40 dishes in the next three hours, so he needs to work fast. So why did you start a sozai shop? Makes sense. That chicken katsu looks fire. Apparently the shop mainly uses domestic ingredients like abedori, a Japanese breed of chicken, as their customers value the safety and quality of ingredients used. Oh, the first round of yakitori is almost done, and it's freshly grilled chicken aroma filling the room. So even though the shop mainly offers delicious fried goodies like katsu and koroke, yakitori is definitely one of their other popular items as they sell more than 1,000 skewers a day, which means he has his work cut out for him. In the other room, his brother breads a chicken katsu, specifically using a nama panko, aka a panko that's not dried, as it better preserves the crispiness and flavor when fried. Damn, I want to stop filming right now and snag a piece of that golden brown loveliness. So how much is that? Seriously? Do you have a family? Oh, do your kids ever come here? Really? They work? Oh, cute. So do you have any days off? So what does your wife do then? Oh, I was wondering who makes them. He says that he met his wife in college and that they got married around the same time he opened the shop. Since then, they worked as a team to create the best fried food shop in the neighborhood while also raising their two girls. Now, the brother fills bell peppers with their shop's signature ground meat mixture. So, do you have a hobby? Oh, where do you go? Are you any good? Are you terrible by yourself? <laughs> Apparently that evening, whatever they catch, they cook up for dinner, sleep there, and then go straight to work the next day. So I heard you fish. <laughs> 
Wow, you caught them and framed it? That's awesome. He even created his own original lure and sells it online. What's special about it? Ah, oh, I see the fins flap and also reflect light, attracting fish. Oh, one of the workers has arrived. It's now 8 a.m. and from here, she takes over the frying, while Yamamoto-san focuses on the grill and other tasks required to open up the shop. Hot hamsters, look how she fries one dish after another so quickly with precision. And they both work so well together, anticipating each other's next move. A perfect teamwork pairing to ensure that all of the food is prepared on time and keeps pace with the day's demand. Holy fried feathers, look at that beautiful sandwich! Before I continue on, I want to tell you guys about the awesome people at Boksu who also sponsor this video. I know that many of you have already signed up, which is awesome, but for those of you who don't know, they provide an awesome gourmet experience of Japanese snacks and tea bearings delivered to your front door. Working with traditional Japanese factories some over 100 years old to provide you with authentic Japanese flavors. Right now, even first time users will get a limited edition box. This month's theme is Sakura in Kyoto, celebrating Japan's cherry blossom season with Kyoto's finest culinary exports like Uji Matcha cookies and many Sakura flavored snacks. You get this beautiful booklet that takes you through each snack. My favorite this month is a strawberry cake gummy, which you can try for yourself. So get $15 off your own authentic Japanese snack box subscription from Boksu by using my code PALO and link in the description. Okay, it's still 8.45, but like a college kid, the storefront is starting to fill out. Where are you going? <laughs> Enjoy your break! Wow, that sauce smells fantastic! And he's using it in many of the different food items. Did you create the sauce yourself? So what's the recipe? You're not gonna tell me, are you? By the way, which dish is your favorite? Oh, why? For sure, nothing beats Mama's fried chicken. He even says that he loved it when she would put it in his school lunch bento box as a kid. Apparently, his customers love it too, as he sells about 40 to 50 kilos, 110 pounds a day. I love it too. Hell yeah. <laughs> Your mornings are crazy busy. For real? He also says that having many regulars is another reason why he keeps going as he enjoys making his customers happy and that he's truly proud of what he does. So as long as he can continue to make people happy, he'll keep going. Oh, they're having a tokubai, a special sale. When do you have sales? Even though the normal price for most of the items is about a dollar or less, he says that many of his regulars always buy the same food, so changing the sale items gives them a chance to try different foods. One hour before opening, another worker has arrived. Hi, are you originally from Tokyo? Sweet, how'd you find this job? And what'd you do before this? The shop's not officially open yet, but customers can't help but stop by when they see all the delicious food lined up in front. Fortunately for them, the shop's more than willing to take orders before the store opens to satisfy their customers. So he's responsible for taking care of the customers and their register, but when he's not doing that, he helps pack the food. 
Do you go fishing with them too? Oh, what do you like to do then? What kind of manga? Interesting. Around 11 a.m., the shopping street starts to get busier, and another worker arrives to help. I guess she's starting with cutting the chicken. How long have you worked here? So how'd you come across this shop? Ah, so your kids are in the same class? Yeah, I have a two-year-old son. Cool, do you have any hobbies? Oh, who do you like? I see. So be honest, who's your favorite? <laughs> So the shop serves quite a bit of chicken dishes by design. Due to the nature of a typical Japanese sozai shop, food is displayed out in the open throughout the day. And because of this, beef and pork items tend to get harder over time, while chicken remains soft and juicy. Everyone seems so busy, so let's go talk to a customer. Hi, can I talk to you? Hi. Do you come here often? So what's your favorite here? Thank you. Hey, what's that Mikazuki sign over there? He says that his daughters wanted him to make something sweet, so he made a pudding shop just for them. Ah. Did you ever think you would own your own store as a kid? Do you think your kids will ever take over the business? <laughs> From now until the evening, when families start to come home, the shop will continue to cook, prepare food trays, and serve their delicious food items so that families can stop by and pick up the dishes to put on their own family's dining table. And that's another behind the counter in the books. If you'd like to check out this place for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description. So that's behind the counter at a local Japanese sozai shop. If you guys like this video, help me out and hit that like button. If you guys want to help support the channel, then check out the Tokyo merch. And if you guys want to see more videos like this or anything related to Japan, hit that subscribe button and the bell button. I'll catch you guys in the next one.